Want to get better at reading water and learn where fish live? Well, hold on. Here we go. That's like butter. Well, howdy friends. Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We say it a lot, friends, uh, but we appreciate you being here. We really do uh, often say thanks for all of the questions that you all send. Uh, as many of you know, we respond to every single email that you all send over. And of course, we always recommend uh, that if you need immediate assistance, you pick up the phone and call us. Of course, we answer the phone. Uh, I, I say it often. No way, uh, because I have to work and answer emails and answer phones, no way I can get to questions in the comments. You're welcome to leave comments, and uh, but any questions need to come directly to Mad River Outfitters via email. But you know, one of the most common questions that I get is how to read water. And folks ask if we can do a video and we may get around to it but it it's it's really a huge subject uh, and I, I don't know that we're gonna get around to making a series of videos on reading the water anytime soon uh, just to be honest with you and there's no way I can answer that email or answer that via an email I always try and uh, but usually if you've sent me one of those emails asking how to read water uh, I've referred you to one of these three books. And everybody knows that I'm a big book guy. I love to read books. That's how I learned a lot of what I know. I really think that if you want to learn how to read the water and learn where fish live in a stream and learn how to approach a, a, a stream or any body of water for that matter, um, there's three books that I'm going to recommend. Well, first and foremost is our good friend, Heck, everybody's good friend, our Lord and fly fishing savior, Tom Rosenbauer, and his Orvis Guide to Reading Trout Streams. And, you know, this is really a Bible on exactly that subject. And I don't know, Tom, Tom must be a lot older than I am. The, the copyright on this book... I looked it up before we started filming and the copyright on this must be a different version is 1998 but I swear to you I read this when I was a kid uh, I, I think I was 19 or 20 when I first read this book and it, it is really a must read for those of you especially trout anglers um, that are looking to learn more about where fish live where to find fish and where to fish in a stream uh, there, there just is no better book. You know, Leonard M. Wright Jr., one of my favorite authors, wrote um, Fishing the Dry Flies, Living Insect, one of my favorite trout fishing books, says, this book is a wise, observant, and refreshingly original book. It will teach you how to turn your eyes and your brain into trout catching wins. Wow. Far deadlier than your casting arm. That, those are strong words, friends. I mean, this is... And Robert F. Jones said this book should endure as long as rivers run and trout rise through them. And I agree. Tom, as usual, did a great job. And uh, this is the first book that you should buy in learning how to read trout streams. But then along comes, uh, along comes Dave Hughes, also a very prolific writer and a well-known um, trout author and angler. Uh, Dave um, wrote a book called Reading Trout Water. This is a little more recent, I believe. Yeah, this was copyright 2010. Uh, if you're familiar with Dave and his writings, fantastic writer, fantastic angler, and a good all-around guy. I've met Dave a couple of times. Nelson Bryant from the New York Times says, excellent and valuable to the fly fisherman who has never really stopped to analyze why trout tend to lie or cruise in some portions of a stream and not in others. Tom's book here has a lot of drawings, has a lot of black and white photographs. One thing I'll say about this book is it has a lot of great color photographs, a lot of arrows and things in there to, to show you what he's talking about and where the fish are gonna be. Uh, he's got a, a chapter on reading cloudy water. So this, this is a good one too. And uh, I would say I would read them both. And then of course, Gary Border. 
Gary is one of the most scientific minds in, in fly fishing, has been for many, many years. And he wrote a book uh, called Reading Waters. And this one takes a, a little different approach. It's got some uh, kind of interesting chapters to it. He talks a little bit, he talks about flies and it's not just strictly just reading the water, um, but he talks about the fish themselves, what they need um, you know, to hold in certain places. And he tells some stories along the way. And uh, it also covers a little bit of lakes and ocean flats as well. So it's not strictly just a trout book, um, but that's Gary Borger's Reading Waters. So, you know, I would really recommend for those of you that are looking to learn more about this and who isn't, uh, again, I get this question twice a week. Um, and, uh, you know, I would, I would, well, there you have it, friends. As always, you can send your questions over to admin at madriveroutfitters.com. Again, we answer all emails, or you can pick up the phone and give us a call. And uh, feel free to send your questions over about reading streams and where fish live. And quite frankly, now I'm going to send you a link to this video. Because again, the best way to go about it, there's no way I could make enough videos in my lifetime to teach you what is in these three books. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. As always, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, stay tuned, and be sure to watch this video here as well as this one here. And, well, heck, watch them all. All right? Thanks.